Right, howdy folks, how are we doing now? Today we are going to do some umbilical slurry. Now I'm going to show you guys how you do it properly. Because, um, you know, the, the game makes it far easier than it actually is in real life. Which is, you know, it's, it's, you know, if it was as difficult in real life, you wouldn't want to do it in game. Simple as, <laughs> simple as that, like, you know. Um, but there's just a few things you can do just to make it a little bit more realistic. Just avoid running any chickens over. Now we've got quite a big tractor here. We're in the uh, what was this? Here she is. Is the X8 now? She's 300 horse, 300 horse plus. Um, you don't necessarily need quite such a big tractor. Although the front reelers are very, very heavy. So it does kind of pay um, to have something uh, fairly big. And you know, wheel weights as well is a, is a benefit. So we've got uh, quite a lot of pipe on there. I'm just going to get the um, oh, not dribble bar trailing shoe can't actually can't actually get a <coughs> get a uh, dribble bar um, I think they're all trailing shoes slid around a bit in it come on shoes on Right, so we've got. Um, oh yeah, it's a bit tight, isn't it? So we've got the setup, and I'm sure. Yeah, she's. You can't lower that anyway. So yeah. So right. We'll get this uh, round the corner by the slurry tank, and we're going to use the slurry, uh, the slurry spawn point at the minute, just for easiness. But obviously, you can run off any slurry tank or anything like that. Just park that here a minute because we need the tanker. And we need a fuel horse on the tanker as well, so park her there. So yeah, normally in the UK we wouldn't have you wouldn't have this tanker um, set up that I've got. Now the only reason I've got that <coughs> is because um, the game does provide you know just pumps, which is what you know you tend to have in the UK. Um, but they're very limited in their pumping distance. So to get anything with any sort of, you know, uh, yeah, capacity to pump a distance, you need like this tanker or the other. There's there's a few options, but like the pumps on their own don't pump very far. Gain is not. Well, I wouldn't have said it was realistic, like you know, because you know we used to pump two and a half k on a six inch pipe. Uh, with ease with just a pump you know the similar pumps as what they've got on the game but um, you know whether it's just uh, done like that so you have to you know there's a there's an evolution you have to if you want to um, pump further you have to spend more money watch out chicken so anyway so this is what we've got anyway like but it is an all-in-one so uh, which is handy Got the compressor on it to blow the lines out. It's um, got the. I mean, you could actually, if you really wanted, you could use it as a bit of a nurse tank and um, run it backwards and forwards. But quite impractical. Now, uh, now I've got to remember how I because uh, there's various. I think I, I think it comes off the side if I remember correctly. So we'll get. Um, it's set up so that we're yeah, so start thing. So we're gonna fill her up. We've already got a little bit in from four anyway. Uh notice we've got hundred meters on the back as well. So we've got that as well. Right, so we're gonna reel out now. And if memory serves me correctly for some reason you can't uh yeah, no, for some reason you can't Unreal when you've got the applicator on the back. 
I don't know why that is. It's in my opinion that's an error because um, you, this is how you would do it in real life. You just leave the applicator on. You would unreal, and once you've unreeled, you're ready to do a con. So, but uh, apparently you can't do that. So back onto the reeler. So there you go. So change to one winding. That's what we want. I'm sure pipe hooks onto the side valves there on the tank. I'm sure it does. <coughs> So we are gonna, um, yeah, white start unwinding, and then that should automatically come off like so. All good. So in real life, this is a bit tricky because you have to match your, uh, you, you, the reeler speed to your forward speed or your rear speed, if you know what I mean. Because um, you don't want to drag the pipe, obviously, because um, you'll drag it away from your connection point. Or if you've hooked onto the connection point, you'll drag the pipe, you know, off the connection point. You'll do some damage. Um, but again, you don't want to reel off too quickly for your full speed because you'll end up with loads of pipe in, you know, loads of pipe sort of, you know, flopped all over on the thing rather than a nice straight line like that. That's how you want it. The game does make that easy. So you speed up it it speeds up so we nearly got to the end of this first um, pipe so we're going to have to do a connection then we're going to go into this field here so it's about to come off like so <coughs> Right now, I've got to remember how you do this. So this is where it makes it unnecessarily complicated. I think I don't think you want to do that because then you can't unwind it. If I remember correctly. So if we start unwinding again, no rearwards would be handy, George. jump out can we then connect together oh, I don't know I can't I honestly can't remember why it has to be why can't you uh, connect them together Has these pipes got to be off before I can connect them together quite possibly Right now, so um, this is where it gets tricky. Well, again, not tricky in game, but if you want to do it correctly, it's um, it's tricky because you don't do a field the way you would imagine you would do a field. So you don't go choose a straight line up one side and go like that. It doesn't work like that with umbilical. So you go across at an angle like we are at the minute. And we want to go all the way across into the far corner. And then we'll hope that um, you know all de all depends on what length of pipes you've got as well, lot. So that's um, kind of key because you want to. It doesn't matter if you. You haven't got a connection up to this point but you, you you know you need to be able to what we need to do now is we're going to go we're just going to loop round and it will become oh whoa. that's a little bit short it's annoying <laughs> it's like annoyingly just short hmm Ideally, we would have that just, or if I could have just gone, I couldn't even actually tell where I was, just gone round, and it wouldn't have mattered if I'd have got to somewhere there. But, we can work with that. We can work with that. So what we're going to do, we're going to nip back over here, we'll spin it round forwards. Come back down here.
and I'm going to dump the rear off and we'll see if we can um, so let's dump that there see if we can connect the pipes together hopefully we can now you can run over the pipe not an issue connected <laughs> yeah that's not what you're after I don't know what keeps um... <laughs> oh god right so that that is not what you want you don't want blooming kinks like that because guess what that just blocks and you even with full pressure in that will not there will not be any slurry up that bit of pipe because that will just be kinked off um yeah that's just great that is so, th things like that they're not quite as accurate as you'd like it like ah uh, dear so i can't can i no i can't even um that's just going to keep doing that no <laughs> So I can't even grab the pipe. So what would, what will you do here, right? Get rid of me spanner. <clears throat> so you grab the pipe, just about there, and then I would drag that that way, and I grab the black this side, and I would drag that that way. So you get a nice smooth curve because um, you want to just maximise your flow rate. But anyway, so <laughs> there we go. We haven't done that very good. I, I'm sure we could have done that better, but. Um, I'm sure it'll still work. So anyway, right. Let's go and get the applicator on. See if we can attach to the tanker. And then, um, yeah. See how, see how we go. Right, she's on. Right, so hopefully we can attach to you. No. There's somewhere, there's somewhere, is, is it them back ones? No, it ain't no back ones, is it, or is it around here? Is it that one? I remember it was. It didn't seem like a very obvious place. Like you'd assume it would go in one of them connections there. The other thing to remember is how. I know it's not ideal, but we're going to go this side just to see if. Um, um, is how heavy these pipes are. Does seem a bit um, elastic. But there you go. That's what you want to do. See, that's what you'd, I'd do the other way, and then we get um, a nice curve in it. We have to, it does seem to stretch rather a lot. That's still too tight a curve there, look. Right, well, look how much that's <laughs> pipe again. Now, uh, does Sonic tell me? That you have to, you can't hook the pipe on. For oh, something's telling me you have to um, oh, have the applicator on the end first before you can hook to the pump. Okay, why that's necessary, I don't know. But then just don't let you, you know, don't let you pump it until you've got the applicator on. But allow you to connect stuff together. Uh, it does make it unnecessarily um, complicated. Look at that. That's a beautiful pipe connection, isn't it? And it involves a lot of running around as well. So we're going to have to go all the way up here, hook on, and then leg it all the way back to hopefully hook on to the um, tanker to then hopefully 
uh, start pumping. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up here. Uh, <coughs> get that arm out like that because that's what we connect to. Now we can unfold that. Like so. Right, jump out. We should be able to grab the end of this pipe here. Swing that round. And let me connect. Oh, come on, let me connect. Oh, hold on, there we go. So, left shift um, Q. God, we're connected. Look at that, we are connected. And actually, that's the sort of radius you want for your pipe. You know, no kinks in it, ideal. Right, so, on board here, there should be a macerator as well, which we should have to turn on. Uh, but I can't remember, can we, t is there a macerator to turn on? Full slow distributor, lift slow distributor, so. They put connected to umbilical yes, we know that. Right, so, now, <sighs> speed run all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the pump. This is not the way to do it. It's really not the way to do it. Right, so there we go. So, hold on. Left shift, Q. Great. What is the point of that spanner if you cannot connect it manually? Look at that. That's dreadful. We've got kinks everywhere. Anyway, right, we're going to draw forward a bit. There we go, we've pulled the kink out. We've got that other kink there. Um, but there we go, we can activate pump now. Right, so. So we are pumping. Again, I would be pulling these kinks out of here because that will just. You need to be getting very little flow through that. But anyway. We've got to launch ourselves back over <laughs> to the thing, uh, to the applicator now. Now we can actually get on with slurry. We're pumping slurry. So once you've got the pump running, you would then be going down the pipe, like I say, pulling these kinks out so you've got a nice, smooth pipe run. So you don't, um, you know, you're not uh, restricting the slurry in any way. So you follow the hose all the way, all the way. Checking for kinks, job is a good and so. Let me get over here. Can we get right? So we can now. Oh, there you go. Maybe a bit thick. There we go. Now we are pumping. So. And. It doesn't stop. When you stop, it doesn't stop. It keeps pumping. So if you stop, um, <clears throat> if you stop, that just keeps coming out. You know, you've got no way of stopping it unless you turn the pump off. So anyway, we're going to go down here. As you can see now in the bottom left map section, um, should we leave that going so we know what's happening? Um, you can see we're leaving a bit of green. So we're doing some good. So, yeah, I've gone a bit wonky here, but uh, so this is this is how you do it. Basically, you go diagonals. Um, now, the reason you go diagonals is for your pipe. Basically, it looks after your pipe better. Um, it would have been easier if I'd done it on cut grass, but it is what it is. Um, so that basically you've got your, your initial run, that first run where we run the pipe out there, that is your longest run. Okay. So we're going to come down here. 
um, get to the end and then we're going to do a right turn so we're going to work this as we're looking at now this right hand side of the field out we're going to work that out first so we're going to turn we'll turn now turn as sharp as you like that's not an issue that pipe and the system is designed to do that again this would be I'd normally be doing it on GPS so you can see what uh, what you've done, well you, well you can't see what you've done but the GPS knows what you've done because you can't see what you've done so we're going to have to guess it a bit like so about there and we're going to work our way back up um, again it doesn't really affect you in the game but if you were to lose pump pressure um, you have to stop immediately because as soon as you lose pressure in that pipe it will twist because what you're doing now as you can see we're towing the pipe sideways where that's where the loop is there behind us that would be that would if you didn't have pressure in the pipe that would be literally just turning over and over and over and you'd have a squigillion twist in it that you would then have to manually get out you know you'd have to manually you have to take it off the back of the applicator or knit the nearest pipe connection and then manually untwist it not pleasant let me tell you not pleasant but the, you can't see it too great, but the pipe physics in it are very good because it can't be an easy thing to uh, to model. But uh, yeah, no, it's a very, very good system, very good system. And it's a lot quicker than, um, you know, uh, a tanker. You know, a tanker's got its place, obviously. You can go, you know, down the road with a tanker and that sort of stuff. But for, you know, close by, near to your, you know, your slurry point, you can't be umbilical because it, you're um, you're always pumping. You know, with a tanker, obviously you are um, you know loading up, then you go and unload, and then you know you always got that dead time. Other thing with umbilical, you cannot do your headlands, not properly anyway. A lot, um, although I'm sure you can. I'm sure you. In theory, you can drag this pipe however you want to drag it. The game will just let you do it because you're never going to twist it up or anything like that. You do get damage to it though, which is quite is quite good. Um, you have to blow it out. It does slowly block up, but it's not like if you know. I'm sure, pretty sure I could just do you know loop after loop after loop, um, working back on yourself, and um, it would you know it wouldn't twist or anything like that you see and the way you're doing it like this is you are or well, we're working it all one way so we're not putting twists in because that is the, that's the thing you want to try and avoid is putting twists into your pipe so we nearly <clears throat> nearly work this side out so we're going to just turn back on ourselves again once more now you'd have to you're always thinking about like like i say you're always thinking about your twist when you do umbilical so what we do now is we're going to turn back and when you're doing long pipe runs and you've got limited pipe like we have on this this one because um you know because uh because we didn't have much of a loop when we dropped it off did we so you're always looking um, when you're towing it back you know when you're doing you know if you've got some sort of you know fields are, are irregular aren't they so sometimes when you sort of turn back you really end up you don't want to be dragging the whole pipe if you know what I mean you just want to be dragging the half of the pipe that you you know you that you're pulling if you catch what I'm doing, oh, at the minute I'm only pulling 20 30 meters behind me where it curls. So if you're if we were pulling away from um, in front of us, there, if we were pulling that way right into that corner, you could end up pulling the pipe, you know, pulling your connection off or whatever. Right, so you see, we're working our way back down, we're still pumping, all right. 
what we're going to do now is we're going to do a 90 degree turn and then cross cross our cross our work basically so this is all purely to look after that pipe yeah so we hold your horses a minute have we um oh no so not being thick I'll just look at the condition we were down to one percent but that's because we are going over what we've done but again in real life it doesn't work like that 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 would still be coming out now so you would necessarily you'd probably you'd be picking speed up a little bit what over the bit you've done here um but that should there you go that's picked up now so so at the minute we've got a loop in it there you would agree so we've got a loop in it there what we're going to do is going to go all the way back this way so basically the tighter you what what you're looking for is you're looking for tight um turns on the pipe if that makes any sense so at the minute we've got a big 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 loop on that as you can see well you don't want that because big loops equal doesn't look like right, does it not equal um twisting pipe I'm not saying twisting pipe is the enemy of the um, of the umbilical spreader. So, so what we're going to do now? Well, it seems a lot of fat, but this is what you, <laughs> this is what you have to do. We're going to turn back again on ourselves. This is all to keep the radius, the pipe radius is like that. That's what we want. That nice short radius behind us. So we're going to go back up here. And then we're going to run back down where we went with that first pass. I know this is very complicated, but if, this, if you want to do it properly, this is the way to do it. This is how you know. This is how you would do it in real life. So we went down just the other side of the main pipe run there, didn't we? So we went down here. Like that. So it doesn't do a bad job of simulating it because it's not an easy thing to do. The pipes are definitely stretchy. You definitely do gain pipe, but I mean it is a tricky thing to to model. Come right down here. <clears throat> now we can turn back this way. Like we've definitely gained pipe there because we should have probably pulled that straight but uh, but what we'll do is because we're just we're just gonna clear that so what's gonna happen there as you can imagine when we're pulling back up here as we are That's going to get a real tight radius of the pipe there as we pull past that, but we should be all right. You go, oh, well, there you go. Let's see. That's where it's slightly neck because we're not pulling that piece of pipe at all. That pipe isn't doing anything. It's only pulling from down there. That is not, you know, it wouldn't be doing that movement there. But we'll let it off. We'll let it off. So basically, we, we chunk back right back up here. Um, where we went. Okay, it would be easy with GPS, but uh, which we have got in game, but I haven't got actually, I'm not using. But uh, yeah, we jingle back up here, that will pull everything back out. And then we can just work that, uh, work that corners field out, and that'll be done. 
and that's basically how you do it so no matter what type of field you've got um, you always pull your pipe to the furthest corner and then come back in and then you work the diagonals out um, and that's well that's purely for grass really you can spread uh, in wheat and barley done that before as well but to do that realistically in game you, well you can't do it because you need um, oh no it's just going to test my memory you need uh, there's a special well it's a, not a special little tool but it's a you need a second tractor basically so we're pulling there see look I mean look how much pipe we've gained let's just stop there a minute well that's going to in theory still be pumping it's not pumping but um, we just go up now if you remember <laughs> I mean look at the pipe we've gained so when we pulled, initially pulled that out empty that was a full run up to that corner wasn't it you see what I'm saying now suddenly we've gained all the, <laughs> this extra pipe probably nearly another 50 50 to 80 meters I should think there see that's where it goes wrong and you lose your realism but um, um, but nonetheless that's the way you do it um, yeah, we've just we've just gained a lot of pipe, but you know it is what it is. So anyway, we do the right turn here, and then we'll just work our way back down. So like I'm saying, in wheat, wheat is different, or in a crop doesn't matter. You're working with tram lines, so you can't go diagonally, not without you know running a lot of crop down. So what you do? Um, say you're on 24 meter tram lines. If you're lucky, you've got a 24 meter um, applicator if not you've got a 12 meter lot we used to be um, you have to go in between your tram lines it's not the end of the world because the crop recovers you know it stands back up so it's not the end of the world and the pipe yes it rolls the crop over as it passes over but again the crop just stands back up again it's no issue but what you do need to do is because you're working the field up and down from one side to the other you need to um, you basically need another tractor that works behind you and it's got I forget, is it the bullhorns oh, I can't remember exactly what it's called but basically it's just got a connector an, an in and out pipe connector on the back real simple it's just an a-frame bit of steel pipe 290 degrees one either end um, so the pipe went into one end of it and the pipe and then the next pipe went on to the other end of it and basically what that enabled you to do that tractor would then pull the pipes across as you worked across the field so it, it, they can't that is really, well I can't demonstrate that in game because it hasn't got that um, you know hasn't got that f feature I can't connect it on but um, if you actually gone to the main channel and look back oh, a few years ago um, you'll find I'll tell you what I'll do end of the video look, look at look for the end screen at the end of the video and there'll be a link to that video to show you how you do it uh there'll be two videos actually I'll, sh I'll link how you do it on grass real life and i'll link how you do it in a crop in real life as well because like i say the doing it in a crop yes you can do it we could do that wheat field there um but again i suppose in game i could still do it with the you know, I could do it in game without the bullhorn, but it wouldn't be accurate. Wouldn't be accurate how you, to how you do it in real life, because you need that second tractor with the uh, connection on to move the pipe across. But um, I'm sure the I mean, like I say, I'm sure the game just you know it allows you to go wherever you want to go. So I could just start one side in that field and work my way across it, but it's not accurate. So and if it's not accurate, I don't do it. So. Um, but you know the way you do it on grass here you I mean we've yes we've gained 100 meters worth of pipe but you can do it accurately you know you can do it as you would in real life so and it's another great touch to the game lot I mean who would have thought that they could get you know umbilical slurry you know the complexities of umbilical slurry although simplified you know got that um, to work lot so it is impressive you yeah, know there are some odd things there's like why you can't reel out with the applicator on the back. I don't get that. And why you can't 
um, connect the you know you can't connect the pipes to the applicator and the tanker or the pump with the little hand tool, which is what you would do. I mean, I'm sure they do talk to. I mean, they must talk to ex experts and that sort of thing. But it's little things like what I've just said there. It's like, why is that an issue? That shouldn't be, you know, it's, you know, it shouldn't be an issue, lot. You know, it's, it's it, you know, especially like not being able to reel out with the applicator on the back. You know, that's what you do. You know, that is exactly what you do, lot. Now, for some reason, we can't blow the pipe out. I don't know why. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, right pump. Yeah, don't know, don't know on that one. You should be able to blow the pipe out, although we are only clogged by eight percent. Oh, there we go. We've disconnected finally, so now we can fold that up. <coughs> Up. <clears throat> Ideally, you would you would drag this um, again so that it's in a straight run. But again, it doesn't matter for the game. But you, I suppose, I should have done that really. Just dragged it while it was pumping um, to a straight run. So now we need to wind in because that makes winding in so much easier. So change the winding. Uh, again, you no, no, that's not correct. You don't have to disconnect the pipes first. You leave the pipes connected. So when they're on the reeler, they're not. You know, if you say you've got three lengths of pipe on the reeler, you know, three two hundred meter lengths. They're not all disconnected. They're connected together. Is it going to let me let me disconnect? Right, so they are disconnected now, or at least the orange one is. So, but again, that's not accurate. I mean, like, does wind me up? You would just reel that in as one, you know. But you don't drag it, you know. You'll well, you can drag it, but you know, you tend to walk with it a little bit, um, especially if you're going round. Um, so, right, so that is disconnected, so that's good. We can turn that tractor off. So you have to be obviously careful when you're reeling around corners and that sort of thing. You want straight runs because when it pulls, it's gonna. And if it go, if it go, you know, say halfway down the pipe, it's going around the corner. It um, it will want to try and shorten that thing. You know, shorten that corner. So it'll, um, you know, say you go around the corner of that barn or whatever, it'll really rub up against that barn. You catch me drift. All right, we should be good now. Now we're disconnected for some unknown reason. So start winding. So that will um, start winding on now. Again, you don't have to do anything, but in real life, you would see how it's winding on from one side to the other. You would have to make the pipe do that by by doing this, go into one side and then the other. Same as like reeling up a pot, you know, any other sort of reel, like, you know, you, you feed it on even, like a winch, for example. You know, you want it to feed on evenly. If you were to just sort of sit there and let it, um, make some tracks there, aren't we, for some unknown reason. Um, if you were to let it spool up in one way, you just end up with one massive uh, lump one side and you'd be knackered. So 
so and that's how you do that so again that's a tricky job to do especially in when conditions aren't you know favorable I mean you see the mess I'm making at the minute and you know <laughs> imagine when that is wet and you've you know you spread slurry on somewhere and you're trying to uh, make the least mess possible whilst you uh, reel up so there's a lot to it a lot lot to it but obviously I mean the game's got to make it fun hasn't it like you know if it was as tricky as it was in real life you wouldn't do it as <laughs> simple as that you wouldn't do it you know here it comes so now yeah, we've got that pipe on so now we have to surprisingly connect to the other one so left shift Q start winding there we go Let me show show what you do. So you'd be you'd be static like this, and you'd do you'd probably be reversing. So you'd reverse that way a little bit. That's loading on. Yep. So now it's going that way. You'd want to reverse that way. That makes it you know reel onto that side. Again, reverse would be handy. Go to that angle. Again, it wants to go to that side. Again, the same. Kink it round to there. And again. Nearly there. There you go. She's on. Oh, so that was fun wasn't it like so there you go that is how you do um, your umbilical how you do it properly as you would in real life hope you learned something there like I say check out the two videos of actually how you do it in real life um, especially the you know doing it into a you know a, a cereal crop down the tram lines that is quite interesting um, there you go hope you enjoyed that I'll see you on the next one ta-ta